uh, certified insane. Could you ever conceive of a circumstance in which the police would do a reunion tour? Um, I think that would be a good cause to have me uh, certified insane. Could you ever conceive of a circumstance in which the police would do a reunion tour? Um, I think that would be a good cause to have me uh, certified insane. Good morning, everybody. Yes, I am certifiably insane. I'm expecting. If anybody comes at me with a white, a white coat, I'm just letting them through. It'll be fine. These are the same people who were here 27 years ago. No, it's their children. That's you, isn't it? It is. It is, isn't it? Got so we, three we kids had, now, right? We had such a good time last night. We thought we'd. Um, Dig a few songs out of the vault and uh, rehearse them. Uh, Andy. Yes. Um, do you know Message in a Bowl? What key do you want to do it in? Uh, I want to do it in <laughs> C, C sharp minor. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at this. You got the teleprompter and everything like that. <laughs> that's for you. As long as you sing along, okay? I can't read yeah. that. <laughs> Trey Anastasio ought to get one of those things. I think we'll start with some drums, dude. Is that a tempo okay for you? Uh, if it's too fast, I'll stop you. You know that. Message in a bottle. 
gonna sing now. I'm sending out an SOS. 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 like to introduce the band. Andy, this is Stuart. Hey, hey. Stuart. I remember you. So, okay, we're gonna come, we're gonna come clean. We're, we're actually, um, we're gonna go on tour. Um, we have the, uh, the producer of the show here, Arthur Fogel. There he is, he's good. He's going to answer some questions, technical questions that we don't know the answer to. Um, and we have Jerry Moss here, who is the head of our wonderful record company at A and M when we first came. Um, we'll do another song before before we get to the technical aspects of the tour. But uh, let's do. Um, now, wait a minute. I, th I want everyone to appreciate this moment. We are the slickest, tightest band. We never do this. But the police is going to go out. Sting, even, has got the jam band thing. We haven't got a set list. We are on stage with no set list. Set lists are for wimps. Let us know if we make any mistakes. So we don't, Andy and I, we don't know what's going to happen. Right now, Sting is thinking what we're going to do next. What's that? Thank you. 
So, okay, I, w I want to bring Arthur down to, to answer some, uh, some questions. Hi. I'm Denise Kwan with CNN. Great to have you guys back. Welcome back. We've Thank been you. hearing the rumors for a while now that the police were thinking about reuniting. Stuart, you've said pretty vocally that you would like it to happen. Andy, I think you've said that you're on board for this. So that left one person to be convinced. <laughs> Sting, do you want to take us through this and how much did they have to twist your arm and what did they say to finally get you to sign on? Um, you know, if you'd asked me the day before I made this decision, I would have said you're out of your mind. I, I, this is not what I, this is, I'm my head is somewhere else. I woke up one morning, it was about three months ago, and this light bulb went off in my head. I went, I'm going to call Andy and Stuart and tell them that we, we should do a tour. And I thought, well, it, it'll surprise them. <laughs> it, it'll, it'll surprise, it'll surprise the world. And it's surprising me too. And um, it's a very, what's happening is very interesting. It's a very healing. Because you know, there's a part of my life that I've sort of run away from for 25 years. But it's a very important part of my life. So to come back and, and be in the band and develop these relationships again. And uh, we, we're, we're wiser than we used to be. We're still, we're still fighting. We're still, you know, arguing about the music. But no, we're not. Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm not. Sting and Andy are, but I'm not. But we have, we have ways of navigating now that we didn't have before. We're, we're a bit more wise. So um, it's, it's been fun and, and interesting. And we're looking forward to the, the tour, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. Corey Moss with MTV News. Thank you for carrying my hangover where this morning. Where are you? How are you guys? Oh, um, I want to know the uh, scope of the reunion. Is it um, just this tour? Will there be new music, an album possibly? World domination, totally, I would say. <laughs> We're going to come out, burn down the world. We're going to enslave your children, mm -hmm. eat your kings and queens, rape and pillage across the world. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nothing's changed. <laughs> Got one over here. Lock up your mother. Oh, you're talking about the music. Oh, that. Yeah, sure, yeah. Well, you're on that as well. John, over there. Yeah. Hi, Steve Balton with Mojo Magazine. How are you? Where, 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 where? where? Right over here. There you are. With the mic. Yeah. How's it going? Good. So, what do you think? Uh, thank you so much for doing this this morning. This is amazing to see this early in the morning. But uh, why are we here at this time of the morning? Does anybody know that? End of the year. <laughs> I don't know. Especially Shouldn't we all morning? be hung over? Yeah, especially morning after Grammys. But uh, well, we played first, so we got home early. <laughs> yeah, some of us had parties afterwards, but uh, yeah. it was all worth it. Sting, you mentioned being a little uh, older, and with that, wiser. Do you feel like now, you know, with the time apart, you guys have more of an appreciation for playing together this time? Not only personally, but also as musicians, because obviously you have a lot of new experiences that you're bringing to the table as musicians this time. Th there's no reason why we shouldn't be uh, 25 years better than we were then, and we were good then. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah you, you bring that experience, you know, that there, there are subtleties in the music that perhaps we're more willing to address now that we're older, but you know, it's, it's still going to be exciting and raw, and you're going to recognize, hopefully, the songs that we're playing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're wiser and a bit more mellow. Well, there's another component, which is that when we were young, we had to conquer the world. We were three extremely ambitious young men. Now we are three happy kind of fathers of many. And just speaking for myself, I'm just really enjoying playing my drums. I don't have to make my name in music anymore. I don't have to make every record express myself in a... I don't care about... I just want to play my drums and follow Sting's lead and play the songs with Andy. And it's just a matter of playing music. We don't have an agenda anymore. You've changed. I disagree with all of that. You've changed it. Yeah, I have. He hasn't. This is what we have to deal with. We, we, we now call, we refer to Sting as our dear leader. On a good day. 
David Willis from the BBC. A uh, lot of where, 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 where? Over here. BBC. <laughs> Hello, Blighty. Hello. Nicky Campbell sends his best wishes. Nicky Campbell. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> um, Inside a, joke. A lot has been said about the tension that surrounded the band. What, As you can what, see. What, what, what was the nature tension? of that tension, and will you be playing Don't Stand Too Close to Me? <laughs> Yeah, this is a very small story We've, for us. That's, you know. that's a good question. Do you want to play Don't Stand So Close to Me? No. Yeah. See? Yeah. Mm. No, that was another that was a test. But uh, you can ask The nature question. of the arguments are all about music. You know, we fought because we cared passionately about the music. That's right. It's true. And uh, also hairstyles. But... <laughs> <laughs> Who stole the setting lotion? You know, it's actually true that for the last 20 years, there's been all these bands that, you know, the Eagles and all these other bands who... who, who what no. other bands? Sure. I'm not going to mention You can remember the Eagles. But the usual, the, the usual scenario of the bands See? not getting See? together. See? This See? is what I have to deal with. We never hated each other. We shouted and screamed, as Sting says about the music. We fought tooth and nail over the music, but as human beings, we always liked each other. Now we do yoga and eat granola. We've liked each other. <laughs> Question love is, everybody. Hey guys, Austin Skaggs from Rolling Stone magazine. Where, where? Right here. There you are. Is that a new magazine just starting out? Yep. Oh, thank you. We just had our 40th anniversary. Yeah, so. you might be You're even older than us. No. We're teens compared to you, yeah. Can you tell us how the rehearsals have been going? And can you tell us what the show is going to look like and how long you guys are going to be performing? And on top of that, uh, what songs you're excited about playing? As well as opening acts. <laughs> well, you know... You got that? Um, we, we start at the end of May. That gives us. We, we have a lot of work to do in three months. It, it starts today. I mean, we're going to play songs we've never played before. So there's a lot, lot of interesting work ahead of us, and um, we're all willing to do it. And it's. Mm. Ex are you? <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's going to be a great period. It's, you, you know, know it's, it's going to. It's going to look. It's. It's going to be three guys on stage. That's all. Yeah. Got no. Yeah. Ah, that's good. That's we good. don't have any back and vocalists, so we don't you know, have any you know horn sections. It's just the three of us, and well, so the show is going to look simple but spectacular. Big. Can we ask you a question about the backing vocals? We have three options. We can have the doo wop babes, three three girls singing, Andy and me singing. Yes. I'm not so sure about that. Or we can have the samples. No. Samples. samples we got samples. Andy Stewart. I could feel a little hurt about this, you know. Let's give it the right response. Uh... Sounds like garbage. We'll, we'll measure the audience level on that later. Another question. One last Hi. question right over here. Uh, Silvia Bizzo, ah. La Repubblica of Italy. Ciao. Hi. Hi. Is it, is it two questions? Is it true Taylor, that you're we'll going later. to be rehearsing in Italy yeah, for the tour? Place? And uh, why do you think that we have seen with so much affection bands that after many years do get together again? Is it the old affection? Is it the music? Is we're, it... Uh, uh, we're just very yeah. lovable. <laughs> yeah. I think Charming. people, people like, like the fact that we're back together. They, uh, you see a smile on people's face that, you know, oh, they've mended, they've mended their, their, you know, arguments or whatever. It's an old marriage that got back together again. Dysfunctional, but nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> people like that. And what did you say about Italy? Are we, are we going to go in Italy? Uh, we don't know yet. Uh, by the way, I am Italian. I'm honorary Italian. I'm a son of the city of city of Melpignano. I'm a Salentino. You and me, babe. We're Italians. <laughs> Italy rules. <laughs> Ian Doverston from Sky News. Could I ask a question, please? Where are uh, you? Just over here. Just over here. Go uh, from Sky News. Him. Do you think that history has recorded the police well enough? And is there a feeling in the band that there's unfinished business still still to be done? Because you you kicked on. You never get to the end of it. You never think, oh, that's death. That's, uh, we're still learning. We're still learning. Yeah. Thank you, brother.
Come on, let, let Taylor. Come on, let's let Taylor ask a question. Where are you going? I just really the last question. Um, this is Taylor Hawkins from the Topanga Canyon Tribune. Yeah. Hey, that's great. That's okay. Um, you guys can leave. You got, you got left. You got to be a drunk question. No, 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 it's not a drunk question, Stuart. Sorry. Okay. Um, uh, so, you got three months till the tour starts, right? Yeah. yeah. You think that we have time for the mullets to return? The mullets? We never wore mullets. Yeah. The fighters wear mullets. That's a good question. Yeah. But you're wearing a mullet now. Somebody asked a serious question. Uh -oh. so. Hi, Anita Vogel from the Fox News Channel. Over here. Where? Over here. There you, go. There you are. Um, most people would agree that when you guys stopped playing, you went out on top at the peak of your career. So as you look back, do you have any regrets about that? And I don't know if anybody asked, will you be writing any new music for this tour? Yeah! Yeah. It's just a different plan unfolding in a different way. We didn't do the whole cliche thing that many other bands we could name do. We didn't just go on and on and on and then sort of diminish. Well, we never saw the other side of the parabola. We saw the upside, but we're kind of curious what it feels like to go down again. <laughs> That's the unfinished business. Hey, uh, I have a question. Uh, hey, great. I'm not associated with the press. It's Quest Love of the Roots. I, I have a question. Um, you mean, are you, you mean you're just a normal person? Yeah, yeah, I'm the token. I mean, the fallout boy in the person. front. Anyway, I just want to know, are, are you guys strictly going to keep it uh, to the police songs? Or are you going to... I was always curious to see how your your solo material sounded. A little zen, interpret maybe. it with you know. Were we getting dream of blue? Most of we're gonna do you too, you know. <laughs> Why not? Well, well, most of our stuff sounds like Bob Marley, so. Actually, I thought we could do my Sharona. Yeah. 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 My Sharona. That's enough. Kind kind of thing. But no, we're, we're keeping it to the police material, seriously, not, uh, A lot of songs, a lot of songs, so, um, let's do list? some. Where's that list? All right, let's, I'll tell you, well, let's, this is a rehearsal. That's how many songs. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do, I Can't Stand Losing You. Yeah! The interesting thing about I Can't Stand Losing You is I have no idea how it ends. <laughs> or really what happens in the middle. <laughs> Andy, do you know? You got I haven't got a clue. That. You haven't got a clue. Well, it'll be interesting. <laughs> Some of us won't. This is something else you don't see at a police show either, us fiddling around with the tempest. You're actually seeing behind the scenes here. Yeah. What the hell is It's not going to be like this when we hit the stadiums, you know. I, I, I am reading the lyrics, so I'm cheating a little bit. It's in D, Andy. D minor. Come on, guys. D. Okay, now. I called you so many times today I guess it's hard to watch a girl say But you don't ever want to see me again Your brother's gonna kill me and he's six feet ten I guess you thought it's cowardly But I never prepared to go all right there Yes, I am I can't stand losing I can't I can't stand losing I can't I can't I can't stand losing you 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 
Oh yeah, I know all y'all know. It's all coming back to me. I'm 24 and I'm mad. Okay. I know what to do. Something, Stu. Uh, yeah, I said F sharp minor. Right. We don't go to F sharp minor in this song yet. Yeah. Oh. That's the drum solo now. Okay. Shh. Yeah, we always okay, do that. Okay, this is the sensitive bit. Give, give me some space. Give me some space, man. I guess this is our last goodbye. And you don't care, so I won't cry. And you'll be sorry when I'm He's dead. reading this. All this guilt will be on your head. You call it suicide But I'm too full To swallow my pride I can I can't stand losing 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 I can Sing And losing I can Let's do Roxanne. New version or? Because we did, uh, yeah, we did a short version last okay. night. Okay, since we the, know that. Let's do the uh, 20 It seemed to work version. last night, okay. Yeah. What? Who is that? It's one of your children.
Nostalgic, but uh, I've been hit by this inexplicable, totally uncharacteristic wave of nostalgia. <laughs> it's, like, it's bizarre. It's it's uh, it doesn't seem like me somehow, but um, I I'm very excited by it. Well, it's an odd thing because um, you know we get back together and you start playing these songs, and it only seems like five minutes ago. When Andy starts blasting away on those chords, and I start hearing those songs, I wake up. And I rise to it, and it energizes me. It felt great. It felt like putting on an old pair of shoes, you know. Yeah, so comfortable. <laughs> I wanted a sort of bare bones kind of thing. I wanted people to go away from the concert and go, wow, there was three guys. How did they do that? This is the classic setup. This is how we started. You know, we're, we're, we're the same people that we were. And it's quite easy for us to fall back in old patterns of, you know, dealing with each other. But then I mean, we yeah. see that. We see it, and then we sort of pull back from that, and then we... we we move on, you know, we, we, we compromise or we make some diplomatic, you know, diversion. So we've learned how to, how, to, how to do that. We're not fighting. Well, the interesting thing is that all musically we're still fighting. You know, we're still... No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> 